Hey guys, welcome to Hate, Ad Hate Addicts with Craft Crafts. I'm Isabel, and I'm gonna do another. Un I'm gonna do another unboxing. And I realized that I don't have any information about when I bought it, um, when it shipped. I know I've had this painting for about a week now, and I haven't unboxed it. Uh, life's just been crazy so I don't have information about when I bought it um, I think when I bought it it took about two weeks to ship two or three weeks to ship and then I had it in like a week so by the time it like it shipped um, like it said it was I don't know no it took from the time I think I bought it it took about two to three and then once it finally shipped I think it was only a week but it this is my first TSA um, which is treasure studio art and I actually had bought this one before I bought my diamond painting one the pre-order um, but I like TSA because they also do um, licensed artwork um, because I used to buy a lot off of AliExpress and I recently got into cross stitch and um, copywriting and just appreciating the artwork of um, artists and how they need to um, be recognized and so their paintings are a little bit more but that is to pay the artist for their work um and quality like you're they're paying you're paying for paying the artist and then also quality i think and i i haven't heard bad things about them so we'll see um this will be my first one um i actually wanted to finish spices before this came in but um i'm in a couple groups um, cross stitch groups um, one that's called myth and magic and basically we do stitches and whatnot of items and whatnot and so we're kind of like in war and so I've had to focus a little bit more on um, a little bit more on cross stitch than I would have liked on like crush crochet and diamond painting but I stitched so much this last couple of days that I needed to break. And so I actually um, got two full sec, like I have a row and so I completed half of a row. Like yesterday and then today. So I just have one row left, which is exciting. So. I'm hoping I can finish it before November so that when um, there's a diamond painting along or something of something wintery from Diamond Art Club and that's why I got um, the Nativity, uh, the one that Hannah Lynn did and I think, I, I think I've noticed sometimes Diamond Art Club will have paintings of my favorite artists that um, Heaven and Earth Design doesn't necessarily have. And so a Heaven and Earth Design will have some that Diamond Art Club doesn't have. And Diamond Art Club will have some of the artists I like, but hey, won't have it. So it's just, and it's a different medium and it's sparkly, but there are some paintings that Diamond Art Club has that I do have in diamond painting form. And I almost want to get one and compare and do like a comparison. But I know, I don't know, it took, it's taking me almost two years to do the tulip can. And it took me almost two years to finish a haze, so. But that was like majority working on that project. So 
and I haven't been into diamond painting as much or else I probably would have finished it faster. Um, there's little like creases and whatnot in the boxes, but that's just like here. That's just like part of the box. So it's in really good condition. Um, and it has a spot on top. And I'm gonna butcher the name of the painting. Um, it's by Anthony, Anthony Chris, Christou. Uh, it's a mermaid Aphrodite, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to, I'm slowly starting to get over a head cold. <clears throat> and so we have the, uh, their toolkit that I've never had before. Um, which is pink, which is so pretty. I recently didn't like pink, but I'm slowly going back into it. So, like, my favorite colors are pink and blue. So, I've never purchased from them before, um, so we have a clear pen, um, with a single placer, uh, a large, large one, um, a six or a seven placer, and my favorite multi-tip, which is like a three placer, I believe, two large things of wax and this like should last you like the whole painting and a white boat and you got a pink squishy which I don't really use them so if you want them message me and I'll send you because I you know I don't I don't mean I don't really use them like the regular pens are fine but I recently got this one um, from somewhere and I kind of like this because it's just different and it's fun just like the fun colors I'm thinking about getting another diamond painting pen sort of like that so if you have a place that you like maybe put it in the comments and I'll try it out because I'm I'm kind of looking about getting like one or two more of like fun ones and then you got pink tweezers and they're uh I guess not the pointy ones but like the rounded ones that I mean they still hurt but they they're not as sharp as my other ones from I don't know like these are sharp it's like the difference They're like, oh, keep the cap on. I like literally the ones I get in here, nine out of ten, like more than not, they're always broke or I lose them. So, I mean, shoot, I have some scissors, embroidery scissors that I've stabbed myself with. And then I got, I, they were sitting on my lap and I got up and the scissors went straight down and hit my foot and I ended up bleeding. And granted, those had a cap, but of course I lost it because it's me we're talking about. So this is, I wanted to get back into it and so I wanted to get a painting that I wanted and that was, I don't know, quality and was sponsored by an art artist or whatnot. So this is my first TSA Treasure Studio art. I'm, I think it's poured or something. I will try to keep this. Maybe. I'm trying to get the beads. Seeds or resin. Holy crap. Um, this is a large one. I forget what size this is. 
I will um, get out the sheet. Treasure Studio Art. It is a 60 by 80. And this is the smallest one they had. They had like a size bigger. This is like bigger than that. Um, it has 30 colors. So that's not bad. Um, but this. I don't even know if you've seen this. This is the one I got. So I love blues. I love mermaid. And. I just loved it, so I got it. Uh, this is square. I do prefer squares over rounds, just because I have a cat, um, and cat hair gets stuck, like, in between in the rounds, and they're sometimes hard to get out. So I prefer the squares, because if it gets stuck on, I can just, like, hide it and be fine. Rounds, it's a little bit harder and whatnot. So I did say... This was by Anthony Crystal. We have the information there. Pretty colors. The largest color used in this piece. I don't think this has 310. The largest color in this piece is 996. Which, fun fact, is my favorite color. And 310 is not used. 310 is not used in this piece, which you would think because, like, you would think there would be because of dark colors, but there are going to be a lot of dark blues. So, like, I don't want to take it out because it's so pretty. So, we got a couple pinks. Which I'm guessing would be like her hair. Because her hair. Her hair is the pink. Got the pink in her hair. So that would be a fun like change of color. <laughs> um, some light green. Blue. Um, gray. Pink. Some blue. Some purple blue. Like a periwinkle blue, brown, um, blue. That is, that is full. Um, and not black, but it's a dark navy blue. It's a blue black. So it almost looks black, but in some lighting, you do tell it's blue. So 939. Um, like a tealy green. Um, blue, um, a dark blue, oh, guess what, more blue, <laughs> um, got like a brown, a brown, yeah, um, uh, blue, <laughs> more blue, and more blue, um, you know, nine, it's like a lighter blue, teal and green a darker purple um purple um more blue <laughs> there's a gray some more gray a purple some pink and I saved the best color for last I'm going to have to, like, sort these back out because they were all in there nice and pretty and totally ruined it. Okay. That's okay. What I do for videos. Um, my favorite color, 996. So, I think there was, like, 10,000, um, of these. This is my favorite color. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would assume it would probably be scattered. 
and they do by weight, I guess, um, and whatnot. It has the uh, clear, clear plastic. Uh, the symbols look great. Like, the plastic is different, like, than um, some of the other plastics I've had. So, oh my gosh, she's massive. Why did I get myself into? She's massive, but gorgeous. Okay, you ready? Yeah, you can see that. You can see her hair and her tail and her the trident. Um Yeah. Let's see if I can get you super close. This one. Yeah. The symbols are really clear. Um this is gonna roll back up and go in the box, so I decide to work on it. Um, but there's the symbol with the picture and the name and the symbols on the side are really clear. They do have it on both sides. So up here and down here. Um, it's really pretty. Um, let's test the sticky. I'm trying to think what that is. Like, there's something on it. I think that the glue is just weird on that one spot. But, sticky. Yeah. Really sticky. Which is actually really nice because <clears throat> some of the original adhesive isn't as sticky. So more of a close up. You have her her fin, um, her hair, like her face. She kind of reminds me of the Dark Queen of the Sea Cell that I'm working on because um, she has that mystic mystique kind of looking about her and then have the bottom of that and then the bottom of the ocean there so that is that so I am not an affiliate um I know there are some affiliates on YouTube with these guys. Um, I did get this on sale, or I had a coupon. I don't know who I used, but I got a coupon, um, and I'm really excited to start this. So I think I'm going to try and hold off. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I can hold off, but... What color, what symbol is my favorite color in G? It's in her tail. It's in her tail, guys. It's in her, her tail, in the ocean, like. I'm so excited. Okay, um, so my goal would be to finish spices before I started this. So, wish me luck. Uh, help cheer me on to uh, finish spices so I can have a new diamond painting start, which I will also have a new diamond painting start in December when I do the whatever they're having. I don't remember what exactly. It's a collab or something. So I'm really excited. So I'm hoping I can get spices done this month. Oh. 
I would like to get it done this month because in December it's going to be like two years. So I'd like to get it done before December 18th. So that gives me about, what, a month to get um, spices done. And if I dedicate like two weekends solid diamond painting, I could get it done. And now that I'm on like the last row, I'll get it done. So if you want me to see, if you want to see me start it, definitely be cheering me on to get spices done because I'm so close. And I'm thinking that la like having the last row, it will motivate me to get it done. Just get it done. Because <laughs> it was supposed to go in my kitchen above the sink and it's not done. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's a little different. This is my usual setup. I didn't have anywhere to lay it out, but I knew it was TSA and... I didn't have to unroll and re-roll because it is poor glue. Um, you don't want to ever roll it backwards, I heard, because that actually messes up the glue. Um, so if you're working on a small area, but you want to do a big painting, just have like part of it unrolled like this and the other part still rolled up. So that way you can still work on it. And then as you go, just continue to like roll it up and the diamonds on the outside so you have both sides rolled up like that but you still can work like in the center so i think that's what i'm gonna do um i might be able to lay it out on my tv tray i have or maybe i'll just get a big for my crafting table but the thing is my husband might steal it so we'll see but if I don't go, I'm going to keep rambling. Hopefully you guys like this unboxing of Treasure Studio Arts. Um, and hopefully in the near future, you'll be seeing progress updates on it. So until next time, bye.